Hi guys, my name is Shaima. So today we're gonna learn how to draw this TV cabinet. Okay. So we're gonna draw using pre-modeling. First, we go to floor plan. Okay, go to floor plan and then select free modeling. I go to living room. You can go to any space you want according to your floor plan. So this is my living room. Okay, first we're gonna add auxiliary. So you go to endpoint, you add one horizontal line, go upward 200. Add another line, go upward to 600. Okay. Next, you add another, you add vertical line. You click endpoint and select another endpoint. It's easier to connect endpoint to endpoint so the line is straight. Okay. So add another one inside. Okay. You zoom a bit. Add another or add another vertical line. Sorry. Make sure you select side lines. Okay. Go to 200, 2400. So 2400 is going to be our cabinet length. Right click to cancel. So okay, zoom a bit. We're gonna add another auxiliary inside. Add auxiliary, go to the right, 100, select the bottom line, go upward to 100 also. Okay, select the right line, go to the left, 100, okay, right click to cancel. Okay, so now we're going to draw a line, select endpoint to endpoint. Okay, right click to cancel. Draw another line at the bottom. Right click to cancel. Okay, now we're going to draw a circle. Draw a circle at the intersect line. You see? Okay. Draw a circle inside the intersect line. Okay, make sure the circle is inside, okay? So now, we're going to delete the inside arc. Click the arc. Delete. Okay, click the inside arc and then you delete. Okay, so our surface will be like this. Okay, you stretch it out to 400. Okay, right click to cancel. Okay, now we're going to offset it inward. Offset the surface inward. Okay, to 20. Okay, done. Right click to cancel. Sorry guys. Okay, now you stretch the inside surface inward to 300, 380. Okay. Okay, done. So this is the outer layer of our TV cabinet. You can clear the auxiliary and return. So this is how it will look like. If you want to edit your frame modeling, you have to go inside frame modeling mode again. If you want to move it, also you have to go frame modeling mode, okay? So here I stretch it inward to 20 because I want it to go deeper inside. So, okay, remember guys, if you want to move, you have to combine the item first so it'll be easier. Okay, hold control button and select combine. You can also hold control button and press G, okay, to group. Okay, so you move it. You see? It's easier when you combine. Okay? So you click return. 
So this is how our TV's cabinet is looking like. So next we're gonna go to custom, go to system cabinet. We're gonna make another TV cabinet, basic cabinet, and then you drag universal cabinet. Change the width to 2400. The depth is 400. Okay. The height is 600. Okay. So you move it a bit to the left. Okay. Set the elevation to 200. Elevation is the height between the cabinet and the floor. Okay. So you right click the cabinet, you see add function part, you click it. So we're going to add shelving, go to panel class, 18mm panel. You can select other type of panel too. So here I could, I choose neutral plate. So drag another neutral plate to the right. Okay. You see the line here and the number, it's the distance between the plate and the cabinet so you set it to 650 okay and then we right click again make sure all the cabinet is selected click add function same panel 18 mm panel you drag shelf to the middle part okay you right click, evenly divided, number one. So it will center. Okay, done. Next, we're going to install door panel. Click install button, go to door panel, select the space, make sure the line is blue. Go to setting, select half overlay. You can select full overlay or insert, it's according to your preference. Okay, do the same to the other side. Half overlay, install. Okay, then next press B button on your keyboard to enter board selection mode. Right click on the door panel, see panel point editing, click on that. Okay, so we come like this 2D view. On your top of screen, you can see your furniture, you can zoom also. Okay, okay, click on the edge point here. Okay. So we're going to chamfer it, select outer fillet, okay. So next we're going to drill hole, click circle, make sure it's center, okay. Make sure it's inside 5550 and then save, return. Okay, next we're going to do the same to the other side. Right click, panel point editing. Okay. So zoom a bit the camera so you can see it clearly. Okay. Select the edge point, the bottom right. Select auto fillet and drill hole, circle. Make sure you, make sure you drill hole in the middle, okay. Between 250 and 350, between 50 and 100. Okay, save. Make sure you save first, okay? Save successfully and then you click return. Okay, next we're going to install the cabinet leg. Right click on the whole cabinet, okay? See at function part, go to hardware. Okay, go to kickboard. And then select Nordic feet. You can select other type also. Drag it under the cabinet. Okay, you can change the size. Change the width to 2300. Okay, the height 200. Enter. Okay. Next, go into board selection mode, 
press B button, delete the bottom panel and the side panel, side left and right panel, just left the back panel, okay? So the back panel, we're going to make it curve at the bottom, right click, go panel point editing, okay? You can zoom to see, okay? So we're going to make the edge to curve a bit. Select the edge point, outer fillet, the other point, outer fillet. Okay, save, return. Okay, so our back panel is chamfered, same as the front door. So now we're going to group the whole cabinet. Hold control button and press G to group. Okay. Once it group, the combination information editing will pop up like this. Okay. So now we're going to move it to our three modeling cabinet. Okay. Move it to the right. Okay. And then you adjust a bit. Okay. okay. Now we're going to drag texture. Go to cloud. Finishing. Universal material library. Go to solid wood material. So here you can choose any kind of pattern you want. Remember to press control button when you drag the texture. So it will spread the whole surface. Like this. Okay. So you go into board selection mode, press B button, click the door panel, change the texture, okay, so choose any texture you want, I choose blue, okay, same as the right side, you can change it to other material as well as such as glass, okay, Next, we're going to add border at the top of the cabinet. Select Universal Cabinet. Okay. Change the width to 2400. Depth 400. Height 200. Okay. Make the elevation go to 800. Set the place to on the object. Okay. When you move, it will move around on the object, not on the floor. So you move it to the left, it will auto snap like this. Okay, go into board selection mode, press B button, delete the top panel, okay, click, select the left side, go to style and change the style, go to sketchboard, can you search for front half circle partition, choose, okay. Make the size to 100. Same also, just select another side. Choose the style. Go to sketchboard. Select the same panel. Change the width, change the size to 100. Okay. Same as the back panel. Change the back panel to 90. Okay, you see the other back panel, right? So just delete it. Okay. Okay, done. So now we just want to decorate it. You can exit board selection mode, select the whole cabinet, go to smart decoration. Okay, you can click any style you want, click cabinet. Okay, it will auto decorate for you. Okay, see? If you want to decorate manually, also can go to cloud. Go to decoration. Go to accessories combination. 
here you can select any kind of accessory you want just drag it on the cabinet okay I select another one you can resize it also just press C button okay resize this a bit Okay, you can try it yourself. Now our TV cabinet is done. Thank you for watching guys.